G'day guys, Chad here, your resident pit master and backyard barbecue expert. Today I'm back with more tips, tricks and recipes to help you become a real hero around the barbecue and the campsite. Today we're going to be cooking lollipop chicken on the Adventure Kings portable smoker. Just have a look at these beauties here. Now, awesome results uh, all done on the smoker here. Um, I'm going to show you guys the tips and tricks of how to get these done for a real crowd pleaser that your mates and family will really enjoy. What we're going to do today um, is French our chicken drumstick. So we're just going to expose the bone down to about here and pop that top knuckle off. It's pretty simple to do. Um, so about one to two centimeters below that knuckle, we're going to take our knife and follow it all the way around the chicken bone, or the leg, sorry. Making sure we get any of those tendons because they're going to hold you back from doing what you need to do. With that chicken drumstick now, we can see that knuckle's now come loose. We're just gonna take our thumb, follow all the way around, and pull down. That's gonna expose that top knuckle there. Just grab your chicken leg with these two forefingers like so. We're gonna pull down, and we'll see that that's exposed that small pin bone along the side there. So now we can see that that's exposed that small pin bone that runs alongside the main bone. What I like to do is just pinch around it, pull that skin away, and we see that's exposed it slightly more. And then we're just gonna snap it off as low, as low as we can, like that, and discard it. Cool, so that's sort of what we're looking for in the way of the Frenching. Now we can clean it up a little bit, which we will do, just to make it look pretty for the friends and family. Um, good pair of kitchen shears, these are specialized for chicken. That's pretty much what we're looking for in the way of Frenching. The end result should look something like that. Then what we do is we'll take a little bit of alfoil. G'day Ned. Essentially all we're doing here is making it look pretty. It's not a necessity to do this, but if you want to look like a real pro, yeah, go ahead and do it. Um, what we're going to do is take that foil and wrap it as tightly as we can around as much of that bone as we can get. So what that's going to do is essentially protect that bone from the smoke and heat, keeping it a nice shiny white color. So yeah, basically makes it look prettier. What we're gonna do now is just grab a good quality poultry or pork rub. I like, you know, stuff with a bit of color. Um, makes it look good again. Um, this is quite a sweet rub as well. We're just gonna give that a nice even coat we're gonna take our butter, a good knife here, just chuck it in the bottom of one of your muffin holes, I guess we'll call it. Now what that's gonna do is as that butter, that butter melts, that's going to keep that chicken moist and give it a really, really good, juicy, tasty flavor. So all we have to do now is repeat that process until all our legs are ready to chuck on the smoker. Now, as you can see, guys, I'm not the cleanest cook on the planet, um, but I get results and that's all that matters. Uh, don't worry about making a mess. You're pretty much bound to do it with these chicken legs anyway. So what we're gonna do now is chuck these bad boys on the smoker, get them nice and hot and ready to sauce. Righto, guys, now those chicken legs are on the smoker. We wanna run these at about 150 degrees Celsius even a little bit more if you really want to cook a little quicker, which is fine. We do want to run chicken hot and fast. Now, um, we do want an internal temperature on these chicken legs of about 75 degrees Celsius. Now remember that, 75, stay alive. Anything under that, you're gonna have raw chicken. You don't want to be serving that up. You're gonna make people pretty crook. So uh, yeah, we'll let them go for about 45 minutes to a good hour and we'll check on them then. Now that we've got our chicken legs on, um, what we're gonna do is chuck some wood chips on. Um, top tip though, if you find that you're not getting to temperature um, where you wanna be, it's not hot enough uh, for the chicken or for any cut for that matter, uh, what you can do is just open up your bottom vent. This is gonna allow more oxygen flow across the top of your coals and out the top vent, in turn heating up your smoker much quicker um, and building those temperatures to where we wanna sit. Um, today we're using peach wood. 
Um, I think it gives a great flavor across chicken. That or cherry wood also works as well. Um, and we're just gonna chuck some in there to produce some smoke. So we're getting those great flavors throughout the chicken. And straight away we can see that starting to smoke up. That's exactly what we're after. We probably need to do this every sort of 25 minutes, half an hour. And we'll just close that bad boy back up. So now that we've uh, got the chicken on and it's cooking away, um, in the meantime, what we've done here is obviously just had a bit of a clean up. As I told you, I'm pretty messy. Um, and also we just started to warm up our sauce a little bit here. Now, what I've done is just taken a good barbecue sauce, put in a good amount of butter. Um, what that does is that's going to thin out over the heat. We don't want it real thick and gloopy. It'll stick too much to the chicken and cause big lumps on there. Bit too much sauce in one hit's not a very pleasant bite. Um, and that butter is just going to give us a really nice sheen across that chicken as well, making it nice and shiny. Um, so yeah, we don't want to we don't want to boil the sauce because it'll caramelize those sugars in the barbecue sauce and give us a funny taste. So we're just really warming it up and thinning it out. So once it starts to sort of get to that boiling point, remove it from the heat and we'll get dipping. Now uh, chicken's cooked, so we're gonna remove the chicken from the smoker, like that. Um, I'm wearing some pretty, pretty heavy duty gloves here, so don't go ahead and pick them up like that without anything protective, you'll just end up burning yourself. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is just a bit of dipping, really. So the good thing about these aluminium tables is I can chuck anything hot straight on them. I don't need to worry about anything burning there. We're gonna take an aluminium tray. Small ones are good. I'm only doing six legs, obviously, if you're doing more, get a bigger tray. Just remove a chicken leg at a time. And we're straight up just gonna dip and get as much coverage across that chicken leg as we can, like so. Just now our chicken's all sourced up. I'm just gonna take them, pop them back on the smoker. Five to eight minutes, I'm gonna say, at that temperature. Yeah, that should give us some pretty good results. Now, I reckon our sauce is pretty much set now. So we can remove these from the heat. They look absolutely mint. There you have it guys, lollipop chicken, a very straightforward and easy dish to cook for you and your mates at home on the Adventure King Smoker. Just have a look at those results. Hey, unbelievable stuff. Hook in guys. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so I can help you become a backyard and camp cooking master.